Today we are talking about backing up a AIX server to a VIO server into the virtual media library. A few years ago I was speaking with Anthony English about backing up a Maxis B directly to the virtual media library instead of backing it up to your local AIX file system or to an NFS mounted file system and then copying that off to somewhere else just back them all up to your VIO server. The first step will be to create the blank virtual optical, me optical media. So if you use the make vopt command and you just come up with some name, in my case I'll use test makes this be, the size is going to be 4 gig, and you let that run. Once that file is created, I should be able to see it in my virtual media library. And it's the test makes this B file I just created. So now if I look at the virtual adapter, vhost3 in this case, I have this virtual CD that I can mount that file in, or I can load opt. Test makes this B, rod db CD0. Now you can see that file is loaded in the virtual CD that I have created. Once I have the file created, I can run smitty sys backup and I want to back it up to a DVD. In this case, it's the test makes sys b DVD that I just created. And I'm going to say, no, I don't want to use an existing make sys b image. That's where you could have written a make sys b image and then write it to the DVD. In this case, we want to actually create the make sys b image and write it to our DVD. And we're going to use this universal disk format. The device is the CD0 device. And in my case, I do want to exclude some files. I've got some uh, file systems out here that uh, are large and we just don't care about them, so we're not going to back them up. So I have an Etsy exclude.rootvg file set up to exclude those files. And if you go down, you can see you have other options. You could, you know, store, make a file system, or, you know, have a file system to store the makes this be, tell it what volume group it's in. There's uh, some advanced options. Um, in our case, we're just going to go with, with the change we made, FZD0 and, and, and yes. And this does take quite a while to run when you hit enter. And actually, if I go into an additional session here, I can go into this make CD log and kind of watch what's happening. So obviously we could run this make cd command from the command line. And now this is going to take a while, so I'm going to edit some of this out. Through the magic of editing, we can see some of the changes that have been happening while this is running. Um, you know, it's creating the makes this be. Obviously, if you've got files that are in use or that you can't mess with it, it you know, it won't work. But now it's populating the file system and now it's copying the backup to the file system. And again, this can take a, a while to run, but I just wanted to show you some of the progress that it was making. And as we get here toward the end, there's a few more things coming up where it's populating the CD file systems, building the boot image, removing a temporary file system, and then over on the Smitty panel, it's saying it's done. So we can get out and we now have a makes us be taken directly to our VIO server.